In ArcGIS Pro 2.6, a number of enhancements have been made to territory design to improve the reporting and quality of territory solutions. This video will walk through several of the improvements. The Territory Design ribbon now contains a new Properties dialog to review and manage territory level settings. If any updates have been made to the settings, the territory solution must be resolved to reflect those changes. Here, we have made updates to the balance variable and compactness option. After applying these changes, the option to solve the solution has been selected. This will resolve the solution. The Territory Design Toolbox contains a new geoprocessing tool to create a detailed report on a single territory solution and a comparison report to review and compare two solutions. Here, I have selected two different territory solutions to create a comparison report. A PDF report is generated comparing the two solutions. The report lists all the territory solution parameters and general statistics for each territory. An enhancement to the Create Territory Design Solution Geoprocessing tool is the ability to add a mask layer to a point-based territory solution. This allows for more contiguous territories, for example, territories that do not cross a body of water. As you can see in the example of San Francisco territories, the territories do not cross the water body when the solution is solved. Finally, a new parameter has been added to the Set Territory Level Options Geoprocessing tool to control how the random territory centers are generated. By setting the Random Number Generator Seed parameter, you can create more consistent territories by ensuring the same territory center is used in the solution. Thanks for watching.